What's nice, especially for the people in the audience that haven't seen this before, is to do this next song because it puts into perspective um, how me and Willie got together in the first place. Right. It was never an obvious partnership. There wasn't, we have different talents. <laughs> and I was only nine years old when I decided I wanted to be a pop star, you know, and have the hit records on the movie and play places like this. And, I didn't, I didn't know how I was going to do it. I used to buy pop records that I loved and play them and know. Even at that young age, I would never be able to do that. And then it was a big secret. I mean, I couldn't even tell my mum I wanted to be a pop star because because I didn't have any obvious talent. <laughs> she would have thought I was being silly, so she didn't know. And it's a big secret. And then when I was 18 years old, I went to the Red Cross Bazaar in Aylesbury. And they had a fortune teller. And she was a bloody good fortune teller. <laughs> she looked in the crystal ball, saw the golden bird, and she told me that I would be a pop star. Ooh. And it cost ten bob. <laughs> and the other thing she said was I'd have a lot of success with a blonde haired musician. <laughs> and Willie was the only blonde haired musician I knew. And normally I would have felt a bit nervous about asking Willie to work with me. Because a lot of people in Aylesby thought he was like a really good musician. <laughs> <laughs> and he was straight up to see the fortune teller because it did mean I could go to Willie and say, Trust me, Willie, it's destiny. <laughs> <laughs> and of course it is, because they're the other thing and everything. It worked out really well. I was so impressed that I wrote this song about it. I went to see John's mum just before she died, a couple of months before she passed away, and a very nice lady said, Willie, I'm going to tell you something I've ever told John, don't let him know, and I haven't to this day. <laughs> <laughs> told him to his face. But she said, when um, John was younger, I was getting really perturbed by his behavioural pattern. He kept getting cucumbers out of the dad's, his dad's greenhouse and walking in the garden. Pretending to be a pop star. But she said, no, it got so bad that um, I've got a friend of mine down the road who put a bit of rag round him and go down the bazaar. Gave him a goldfish bowl and I told her that I'm sending Johnny down to my house. Can you tell Bob no? Can you tell him the name of bollocks? <laughs> I've never told him. <laughs> but Willie, it all came true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll keep coming then. <laughs>